In a final reading earlier today, the Texas House approved sweeping new restrictions on abortion. The vote came with additional drama today. DPS troopers moved in to take some protesters out of the gallery. KXA's Angie Bevan joining us live from the state capitol with new reaction to today's vote. Angie. It's quiet in the House now, very quiet. We're up in the gallery overlooking the House chamber, but earlier today it was a much different atmosphere. The emotions were picking up so much so just as the vote came down. The 96 eyes and 49 nays, House Bill 2 is finally passed. That was House Speaker Joe Strauss announcing the final vote earlier today. The House passed the abortion legislation 96 to 49. The vote sent waves of reaction through the gallery. It set some people off so much they became disruptive. DPS troopers wound up escorting or even carrying out five people. Authorities arrested the four women and one man right here in the Texas Capitol. All of this happening as lawmakers on both sides had their own reactions to the passage of the bill. I am proud to be a Texas woman. I'm proud of our governor and I'm proud of our state. We've done a good thing for women and for the babies. I don't doubt the good faith and heart of people who feel strongly about this, but at the same time, uh, the benefit, I think, is really toward those that are running in Republican primaries. The bill now moves on to the Senate. They still haven't scheduled a reading of it. It's predicted to happen either this Friday or Monday. Now, of course, that could bring with it a showdown like we saw on filibuster night. For now, reporting live at the Capitol, Angie Bevan, KXAN News. This House bill, which just passed, will add four new restrictions to abortions in Texas. It bans abortions after 20 weeks of pregnancy, with few exceptions if the mother's life is at risk. The bill also puts new limits on giving drugs that cause abortions. It also limits abortions to surgical centers and requires abortion providers to have privileges at a nearby hospital. Opponents say those last two restrictions would effectively close most abortion clinics in Texas.